You've probably seen that there's a whole lot of electric scooters and bikes like this one around. Electric cars also on the rise. While many would say that it's a good thing, not all that glitters is gold. It's also creating a new problem. The batteries don't last forever. And what happens to them when they reach the end of their lifespan? Could we one day see landfills full of lithium batteries? Two Quebec groups are looking at ways to avoid that. For 2030 and 2050 are pretty staggering. The estimation of volume of metal that'll be, uh, that'll need to be recycled from those two sectors. We're talking about 300,000 tons by 2050. That's 800 planes. This metal needs to be circulated back in the industry. Batteries can be recycled, but the current system and technologies won't be able to keep up with all the dead batteries. As Canada sets a goal to make all road vehicles electric by 2035, the larger amount of batteries circulating and the complexity of the products will create a huge need for new solutions. So the search is on for innovators to help solve the looming problem. What we can do with those uh, critic minerals inside the batteries, the metals, the, um, all the part of the batteries, we can re reuse those and make sure that we can make some new products. So far, ideas are scarce, although there are some related innovations. Take bauxite technologies. The Quebec company found a way to turn the toxic material bauxite, the non-recyclable residue left over when producing aluminum for batteries, into what they call green cement. We pick cement because the cement industry is one of the biggest polluters in the world. We can kill two birds with one stone, solve two environmental problems at the same time. And the ideas also fit in with Recyc Quebec's desire to find a way to recycle the materials used in batteries while making the recycling process renewable, useful over and over again infinitely. This is actually a fully recyclable brick. We can take this brick at the end of its life, crush it, grind it back up, and add it right back to the same process we used to make it. We want to make sure that it's easy to do it for consumers. We want to make sure that consumers can, can, can do not have to think. The idea is more ideas will come out so you can recycle your electric bikes the way you would one of these.